Let's look at how we can install the Data Analysis Tool Pack for Excel 2016 for Mac. Now the Data Analysis Tool Pack the, is an extension. It's an add-in. That means it's part of the program that you have to uh, add, which means actually you only have to turn it on because it's included in the um, uh, the, the program. It's just not turned on. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at how we turn on the, the tool pack. The way that we do it is we go uh, up to the uh, Apple toolbar and we click on tools and we get this menu that comes down in the tools menu and we go to Excel add-ins and we choose the analysis tool pack and we make sure that it's turned on. Click it so there's a checkbox in there and we now press OK. And now when you go to data, data in the Excel uh, toolbar here, not in the uh, Apple toolbar above it, if we click on data, you'll have this button data analysis which wasn't there beforehand. So if you click data analysis, we get this uh, a list of statistical functions that Excel can now do. ANOVA, correlation, descriptive statistics, and as you go through your statistics course you'll learn how to do a, a, an awful lot of these. We're not going to look at any of them now, we're just looking at to show you how to install uh, the, the data analysis uh, tool pack. Um, something to uh, uh, There, I got rid of it. Something to pay attention to is that the data analysis tool pack is not available for Mac on versions of Excel before Excel 2016. So if you've got an older version of Excel and you're looking for how to install the, uh, uh, the tool pack, it, it's not going to work. It's been around on the PC forever, um, but it's only in 2016 that the tool pack was uh, set up for, uh, for the Mac. Now, at Azusa Pacific University, we have a tradition of linking the ideas that we're discussing in class to biblical concepts. So I would like to take this concept of a tool pack, the concept of a tool, and look at a biblical idea that's, that's similar. Just as tools help us do things more efficiently, so God has equipped us with our gifts and our abilities to, to serve him, to serve others with the way that he's made us. Each person has a specific mix of gifts. The Apostle Paul in the epistle to, first epistle to the Corinthians said, There are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. God works in our lives if we've been redeemed and brought into God's family. He gives us gifts that enable us to serve other people in the church. And each person's gift mix is different. No two individuals are alike, but we each have things that we tend to be able to do better than other people can, and those are our gifts. So just as we have a tool pack for doing statistics in Excel, God has given us gifts for serving Him, for serving others, for loving Him, and for loving others.